Asian Elephant The Asian Elephant, Elephas maximus, also known as the Asiatic Elephant, is the only living species of the genus Elephas and is distributed throughout the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, from India in the west, Nepal in the north, Sumatra in the south, and to Borneo in the east. Three subspecies are recognized, E. M. Maximus from Sri Lanka, E. M. Indicus from mainland Asia and E. M. Sumatranus from the island of Sumatra. The Asian elephant is the largest living land animal in Asia. Since 1986, the Asian elephant has been listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List, as the population has declined by at least 50% over the last three elephant generations, which is about 60 to 75 years. It is primarily threatened by loss of habitat, habitat degradation, fragmentation and poaching. In 2019, the wild population was estimated at 48,323 to 51,680 individuals. Female captive elephants have lived beyond 60 years when kept in semi-natural surroundings, such as forest camps. In zoos, Asian elephants die at a much younger age, captive populations are declining due to a low birth and high death rate. The genus Elephas originated in sub-Saharan Africa during the Pliocene and spread throughout Africa before expanding into the southern half of Asia. The earliest indications of captive use of Asian elephants are engravings on seals of the Indus Valley Civilization dated to the 3rd millennium BC. Characteristics In general, the Asian elephant is smaller than the African bush elephant and has the highest body point on the head. The back is convex or level. The ears are small with dorsal borders folded laterally. It has up to 20 pairs of ribs and 34 caudal vertebrae. The feet have more nail-like structures than those of African elephants, five on each forefoot, and four on each hind foot. The forehead has two hemispherical bulges, unlike the flat front of the African elephant. On average, when fully grown, males are about 2.75 meters tall at the shoulder and 4 t in weight, while females are smaller at about 2.40 meters at the shoulder and 2.7 t in weight. Sexual dimorphism in body size is relatively less pronounced in Asian elephants than in African bush elephants, with males averaging 15% and 23% taller in the former and latter respectively. Length of body and head including trunk is 5.5 to 6.5 meters with the tail being 1.2 to 1.5 meters long. The largest bull elephant ever recorded was shot by the Maharaja of Susang in the Garo Hills of Assam, India in 1924, it weighed an estimated 70, stood 3.43 meters tall at the shoulder and was 8.06 meters long from head to tail. There are reports of larger individuals as tall as 3.7 meters. Trunk. The distinctive trunk is an elongation of the nose and upper lip combined, the nostrils are at its tip, which has a one finger-like process. The trunk contains as many as 60,000 muscles, which consist of longitudinal and radiating sets. The longitudinals are mostly superficial and subdivided into anterior, lateral, and posterior. The deeper muscles are best seen as numerous distinct fasciculi in a cross section of the trunk. The trunk is a multi-purpose prehensile organ and highly sensitive, innervated by the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve and by the facial nerve. The acute sense of smell uses both the trunk and Jacobson's organ. Elephants use their trunks for breathing, watering, feeding, touching, dusting, sound production and communication, washing, pinching, grasping, defense and offense. The proboscis or trunk consists wholly of muscular and membranous tissue and is a tapering muscular structure of nearly circular cross section extending proximally from attachment at the anterior nasal orifice and ending distally in a tip or finger. The length may vary from 1.5 to 2 meters or longer depending on the species and age. Four basic muscle masses, the radial, the longitudinal and two oblique layers, and the size and attachments points of the tendon masses allow the shortening, extension, bending, and twisting movements accounting for the ability to hold and manipulate loads of up to 300 kg. Muscular and tenderness ability combined with nervous control allows extraordinary strength and agility movements of the trunk, such as sucking and spraying of water or dust and directed airflow blowing. The trunk can hold about 4 liters of water. Elephants will playfully wrestle with each other using their trunks, but generally use their trunks only for gesturing when fighting. Degrees Celsius. Intelligence. Asian elephants have a very large and highly developed neocortex, a trait also shared by humans, apes and certain dolphin species. They have a greater volume of cerebral cortex available for cognitive processing than all other existing land animals. 
Results of studies indicate that Asian elephants have cognitive abilities for tool use and tool making similar to great apes. They exhibit a wide variety of behaviors, including those associated with grief, learning, alimothering, mimicry, play, altruism, use of tools, compassion, cooperation, self-awareness, memory, and language. Elephants reportedly head to safer ground during natural disasters like tsunamis and earthquakes, but data from two satellite collared Sri Lankan elephants indicates this is untrue. Several students of elephant cognition and neuroanatomy are convinced that Asian elephants are highly intelligent and self-aware. Others contest this view. Ecology and behavior. Elephants are crepuscular. They are classified as megaherbivores and consume up to 150 kilograms of plant matter per day. They are generalist feeders and are both grazers and browsers. They are known to feed on at least 112 different plant species, most commonly of the order malvales, as well as the legume, palm, sedge and true grass families. They browse more in the dry season with bark constituting a major part of their diet in the cool part of that season. They drink at least once a day and are never far from a permanent source of fresh water. They need 80 to 200 liters of water a day and use even more for bathing. At times, they scrape the soil for clay or minerals. Rarely, tigers have been recorded attacking and killing calves, especially if the calves become separated from their mothers, stranded from their herd, or orphaned. Adults are largely invulnerable to natural predation. Thanks for watching.